Hello. In this video, we're going to be trying to get rid of some of the muddiness in the neck pickup of this uh, PRS SE Custom 24. Uh, now this PRS ha has the uh, HFS uh, pickup at the bridge and the vintage bass pickup on the neck. Now I love this guitar, it plays great, uh, but the, the neck pickup is a little bit muddy. Uh, the low end is a little bit woofy and kind of undefined. Um, now, uh, to try to get some of that low end out of this uh, neck pickup, we're going to solder a capacitor in line uh, from the hot lead of this uh, neck pickup to the uh, tone knob. So, um, what that's going to do is it's essentially going to roll off the low end. Now, uh, guitars already have a capacitor in them on the tone knob, and what that capacitor is doing is letting some of the high frequencies bleed to ground. Um, so it's kind of rolling off the high end. So when you solder a capacitor in line with the pickup, that's going to uh, roll off the low end. Um, so the value capacitors um, that we have chosen for this is uh, in the 0.0015 microfarad up to, I believe it's point. 0047 microfarad. Um, so these are smaller value capacitors than what you would have uh, typically in a guitar for the tone control. You can see here in the screenshot of the calculator that I used that I'll be uh, putting a link to in the description that I was able to kind of predict what frequencies would be rolled off uh, using the resistance of the potentiometer in the guitar and then uh, inputting the value of the capacitors that I was uh, going to buy, um, it would give me uh, the output of what frequencies would be rolled off. Now, the frequencies that it's giving me um, is at a three decibel reduction. Uh, so, using that, uh, I was able to decide what capacitor values I wanted to purchase and see how they sound. In this screenshot of this frequency analyzer, you can see the dark curve there is the guitar without a capacitor in it, and the lighter color is a screenshot of the analyzer after playing with the 0.0047 uh, microfarad capacitor, which is what we looked at in the calculator. And you can see that the frequency roll-off is indeed pretty close to what the calculator gave us um, that the roll-off would be. Uh, you can see that it, it does bring down the entire signal a little bit, uh, which obviously is not a desired effect, um, but it does absolutely roll off that low end um, right at about the frequency range that we were looking for. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play the guitar with no capacitor in it, uh, so that you have an idea of what it sounds like without any modifications. Then I'm going to solder a capacitor starting at a higher value, working my way down. And what that should do is it should slowly, as we go down in value, it will roll off more of the low frequencies. Now, I also suspect it's going to kind of weaken the signal in altogether. Um, so uh, that won't be ideal. Uh, and in fact, on that note, this is obviously not the ideal way to, um, to make a pickup sound great. Um, you know, if you, if you are looking for a completely different sound or something, replace the pickup. Um, this is just a very cheap uh, kind of test uh, to see if you can make, you know, a set of pickups sound a little bit better without having to go buy a whole new set of, of pickups. So, um, so let's get started and let's see how this goes.
Wow, so those uh, last couple capacitors were really starting to sound like garbage. Uh, but those higher uh, value capacitors actually I thought sounded pretty good. Um, they still had some life in them, uh, but they did a good job of rolling out some of that muddiness. Uh, so now the test that we're going to do is I'm going to plug this directly into my uh, Focusrite uh, and look at how the signal is direct in and use a frequency analyzer to, to look at what the EQ curve is like with each value of capacitor. Once again, I'm gonna be starting at the no capacitor and then starting at the high value capacitors and work my way down. Uh, and I'll share a screenshot of what the curve of each looks like as we go. All right, well, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I think that given uh, what we have found, getting something in the range of maybe a 0.0047 microfarad capacitor can actually be a decent and cheap uh, solution for a muddy pickup. Uh, obviously, it's not a substitute for replacing the pickup, uh, but uh, for a budget, I think it's a fairly good option. Uh, hopefully, you've enjoyed this, and if you liked the video, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.